Now, <clears throat> I've put them like that, but they're actually going to go that way with the strips down the outside, the corner strips down the outside. That one doesn't seem to want to stand, it mustn't be cut square. Um, that way, I'm going to lay that down because it's going to fall. That way, when I get all these squared up with each other, these strips that come across here, instead of being like that and having a gap in there, they will be inside there, pulled in, and therefore keeping these center pieces pressed hard up against there. I'll get rid of them for now. A bolt. A large nut. It goes over the top, like so. And then a long nut that screws on. Idea being, with that sitting there and that sitting there, that this nut, hang on. We also have some small pieces, cut off the ends that will be welded. Uh, I've got to measure it up totally, but pretty much to there and there. That will be welded onto there. And that welded onto there. So I'll weld down those, down those. That will be welded along there and there and that will be welded underneath there and there. This being able to then rotate. Obviously if I didn't have that under there, that wouldn't rotate because it's too low. Hence that has to be lifted with a small packer. That's lifted with a small packer to keep it at the right level. Weld them together screw it up, pulls it all in. So that's the plan. One of those for each corner. Top and bottom. Okay. Hi guys, thought I'd do an update on my anvil stand. I've been doing a bit of work on it in the evenings after my day job and uh, got my brackets attached together um, put it together in a um, test form got my anvil sitting on top of it so I thought I'd give you a bit of a look before I start doing any additional work to it okay here we are anvil sitting on top stand there so I've got my 90 by 90 blocks and I've made the brackets that I was, I believe I showed last time. Ignore these little welds, uh, not welds, sorry, uh, grind points down here for now. I just was prepping to do some additional welding on a, a, a corners, on the corners, sorry, that we previously talked about, which is these pieces one of these pieces which will go on the corner raised up to there and that's why those weld points have been ground off I'm gonna have to do a bit more grinding cleaning up on them um, they'll protect my corners from the timber chipping away um, I might just pause this put it on the camera on a tripod and get back to you. Okay, I've got you down at the right level so you can see a bit more of what's going on. 
as I was explaining, these will go on the corners and we'll go on that corner. I've been making some pre-making some materials. So I've got a couple of units here. that one goes at that side yes got the lines marked on it these are attached to here and these come up level with those which makes this this and this one unit and I do the same on the other side so this whole thing can be attached as a side and then another side removed in the future um, just by adjusting that that and the same on the other side and pulling them apart um, i'm not going to weld this to this that's just going to sit down inside there and then i shall once this one's on the other side and then I shall be using these two bits of metal which I've cut and cleaned up to sit on there. These then come up against there. So this will be screwed down. So I'll drill a hole in here and I'll screw this directly to the block. That will give me a bit of a tray to drop tools like punches, drifts, things like that in. That's why it's got the lip on the end there. And also, I'll be back. I have created some little tool holders. So I've cut some tubing. Cut some tubing into these squares. So both of those will be welded together that I can hang hammers off and tongs they will be, will be welded to the side of that show you deep down in here how I did attach those adjuster bolts to the end there the brackets as I was explaining I've put little packers in here to give it room behind that nut so I can actually get a socket in there makes it nice and easy with an extender on it to be able to adjust that up I'm not sure how close I am there because I'm moving the camera around and I did the same thing on this side gives me really good adjustment top and bottom they're solid they're not going anywhere that's tightened up to a point where it's feels like one block I haven't actually fully secured it together finally yet because um, I'm probably going to pull it all apart and glue these before putting them back together again but that's a job for the future so she's looking okay I thought I think sorry and then because this lifts up to butt up against there I've cut these so I've got a 50 millimeter gap around the bottom of the entire thing of course that's welded to there but a 50 millimeter gap that's just timber all the way around the bottom corner and then I'm going to use some of this angle iron 50 millimeters up there 70 millimeter, 75 millimeters across there I'm going to use that 50 millimeters attached to the bottom of the skirt all the way around and make like a, a foot it's just going to be bolted to the bottom of the timber of the anvil stand so the anvil stand will be coming along here a couple of bolts in there same on the opposite side all four sides and that will give me a bit more of a a wider foot so down there out here I'm using angle iron because then I've only got a small lip that I'm not going to be stumbling over these stick out a fair way so I've brought them out like this because when they're hanging there I don't want the handles coming down and being interfering with this not slipping down properly so these are going to sit there which gives me a good gap behind. Another thing I wanted to point out is how that I have left 
this open at the ends. That's so when I get rubbish in here, I can just clean it out easy. Also, if I've got, say, some drifts and punches, so a drift and punch on here, they can stick out the ends. If I've got ends on them, I'm limited to how long a material, how long a tool I can put on there. Back to what I was talking about. Um, this is just, like I said, places to put various punches and things like that. So that's an update. I shall um, get into to do a bit more and um, get back to you. Get back to you when I've got a little bit more progress to show. Okay. Bye. Hi guys. Just thought I'd update you with the latest on the anvil stand. Um, pulled it all apart again after finishing doing all my welding and fabricating. Painted them all up and I'm just putting the timber back together, gluing it back together. So I'll swing around and uh, show you what I've done. Okay, so these are the brackets that I made up. I've a bit of a guide for replacing them back together in the right place because everything's custom nothing they're not all perfect they uh, fit in specific spots so that's the brackets that have been pulled off resprayed after I'd had to do more welding um, now I've got left side, right side, um, they're now dry, ready to put back together again. I've got my bolts, washers, resprayed, actually those washers aren't off this but um, they're off some uh, other project. They're going to be part of the coach bolts that are um, attaching it to the anvil stand now, to the block. So I've made the skirt for around the bottom, painted that up. I've glued them all together, pulled them apart. I've got the little numbers on them and some markings to allow me to be able to get them back in the right place which I have not done correctly, I can see. But um, that really annoys me. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven. But I'm sure they'll go back together. Anyway, that one's beveled. Here, all the corners are supposed to be beveled off, so I'm gonna have to re-bevel those. But uh, yeah, obviously didn't get my numbering system right there, so that's a bit of a bummer. As you can see, I've now got my hammers hanging on the side. That all worked out pretty well. They just drop in there. She's bracketed down with a couple of little bent bits of steel this is all I used bugle screws to screw it down the trays haven't yet put the bolts I'll use bugles again in the bottoms here to secure it in place because it's not sitting exactly where I wanted in my shop when I finished making my forge and what not and getting it all in place so because the cement floor as just about every cement floor in the world is is not exactly flat and level I want it in place before I put those bugles in there and probably bolt it down into a position and a few of my cutoff tools 
flatter. Sitting there. Some ball peen hammers, my main forging hammer. Cross peen and straight peen. Sitting on top. So, yep, kick the bucket. I think it turned out pretty well. Just a final video to finish off that construction. Okay, there we have it. Okay then, I'll um, see you in the next video, which will probably be my forge. I'm making a gas forge from a beer keg, stainless steel. So I'll catch you on that one. Bye for now.